Fluent CRM has done it again. Let me show you this amazing update. So over here, I'm in Fluent CRM. I'm gonna come all the way up here to email campaigns. Click on create your first email campaign and give it a name and then click on create campaign. We're used to these icons here, but the major change has come onto this new icon. This is the brand new visual builder. So I'm gonna use the standard here. So over here, we can see we have quite a few blocks. So let's say I need to add something new. I can just drag and drop it. So this time I need to add an image, drag and drop it right there. And then all I have to do now is to click on it. And now I have options over here on what I can do. So I can either upload an image just by clicking there and I can upload images from my media library. The other option is I have this option here to go to my stock images. So this is where I can use uh, say this one right here. So once my image has been added here, there's also a few things I can do. I can go to my mobile here and see what it looks like in the mobile view. This is super, super powerful because a lot of people open emails on their desktops, some on their mobile devices. So making sure that it looks great on the mobile device is super important. Now, what you can also do is you can hide this on mobile as well if you wanted to, and you can see here, it has been grayed out. If we wanted to add more information here, what you need to do is to come over here to the top and close it. Okay, so this brings you back to your blocks. So what we can also add here is a button. It's just a matter of dragging and dropping. And there you are, you have your button, click on it. And this is where you can make your changes. If you wanted to add a URL, this is where you'll add it. If you want to change the background color, you can change it right here like that. I mean, super, super easy to use. You can also add auto width. I like the fact that it just fills the whole screen. Super, super awesome. There is more. Now, if I come over here to layouts and <laughs> notice this, we have pre-made contents. So we have this uh, hero area here. All I have to do if I wanted to use this is to drag and drop it right there. And I already have it. So now I can click on this and start customizing it. So for example, I can add my padding here. I can add my background color. If I wanted to, I can also change this image right here in the background. Any part of this area here can be changed. So if I go in here, I can add my own title, subtitle and call to action. So all of a sudden, Fluent CRM has updated our email builder to drag and drop. This is like a mini page builder inside Fluent CRM. I mean, the innovation here with the team is super, super exciting. Now let's say I want to add something to sell on my website. I can just close here and just drag and drop this product just like that. Now at any point, if I need to delete any of this information, all I have to do is to highlight it like that and then click on delete and now it's gone. Same thing with the button, I can just click on that, click on delete, and it's gone. Now, if I need to duplicate anything, I can just click on that, and we have a duplicate button here, and that duplicates it, now we have two images. We can also delete it from here as well, so I can just do that. So the UI is very, very easy to understand, very, very easy to use. So here I can also choose my layout, I can just drag and drop it like that. Now here we have global styling. So I really like the fact that we can go and further customize this because when I first looked at this, I was like, okay, I would like my width to be slightly bigger. Where do I change that? And sure enough, here it is, global style. So what you do here is you come over here to content width and then you can just increase it like that. So you can see now my width is increasing. And also here we have our text color. So if you want to match your text here, with your website, you can just come over here and make your customizations just like that. Secondly, on the bottom here, we have our font family. Now, for those of you guys who see my tutorials, you know I like uh, specific fonts. I can just now go in and choose whatever font I like, and I've just changed that. Here, I can change my pre-headed text, and then further down here, I can change the color to my links, and I can also underline them. So there's quite a lot of customizations that we can do here. On the stock media, I can search for all my images here, and this is powered by Unsplash, Pexels, Pixabay. Man, this is super awesome because you don't have to worry about infringing on anyone's copyright because these are royalty-free images. So let's say you've designed your, uh, your email template. Now you wanna have a look at it and see what it looks like. You scroll all the way down here to the bottom and then click on this eye icon, and this now shows you what your email is gonna look like. Look at that. I mean, this is beautiful. We also have options here to see what it looks like on a tablet and on a phone. Now, if you wanted to, you can click on this drop down and choose specific widths or specific devices. I mean, look at that. 
<laughs> I am super, super excited by this update because, you know, the way I was sending emails, it was a bit dated and it has come at the right time because we have Black Friday offers. Now, there's two things that are missing from this and I hope these will be implemented very, very soon. The first one is... I don't see an option here to save as template. I would really like to save my design here as a template because I'll be using it over and over again as we did here with these other pre-made templates. The second thing is conditional block. We really need the conditional block. And if we can add the conditional block here, this is complete. So for those of you that don't know what a conditional block is, this is a block which displays based on the tags. So let me show you how to set it up. So if you click here on this plus button, you can search for conditional block right here. And here it is. So any content that I add in here will be displayed based on what I choose right here. So you can see here on the condition type, it says show if in a selected tag. Now, if you have tags here, you can just choose your tags. Overall, this is super, super, super amazing. I'm definitely gonna be using this, but guys, if you can just add these two features, this is going to be complete. Or maybe I'm missing this feature somewhere because I've just gone in and started playing around with it. So it could be that I've missed this feature. So if I have, please let me know in the comments box below. So if you have a WordPress website and you'd like to manage your emails on your own website, Fluent CRM is the way to go. I have a special link in the video description below. Check it out. I have amazing discounts and you also get a course when you purchase it using my affiliate link. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.